Fresno man the sheriff calls a cancer who belongs in prison was recently honored for completing community violence intervention training. The certificate includes the city of Fresno Park's seal and is signed by Mayor Jerry Dyer. Fox 26 reporter Rich Rodriguez explains the man who received the award has been arrested twice this month, the first time just days before he was honored. Last week, 41-year-old Thomas Rowland was honored by the Urban Peace Institute in Fresno. He received a certificate signed by Mayor Jerry Dyer for completing a 40-hour training program on community violence intervention. Nine days before he got the award, he was arrested on six felony charges. Deputies recovered 16 guns in the car when he was arrested. I find it a challenge for us that he had completed 40 hours of this Peace Institute class, most likely during the time when he was out committing these burglaries and being in possession of stolen firearms. Roland was released on bail the same day. Four days after the ceremony, Roland was arrested again on six new felony charges. Five of the six charges involved guns and ammunition. My concern is, is this individual putting firearms in the hands of gang members in Southwest Fresno, which are causing an increase of shootings or are giving these gang members an opportunity to have a firearm to commit a violent crime? So how did Urban Peace Institute land in Fresno? Last December, the Fresno City Council approved an 18-month consultant services state grant not to exceed $300,000 to provide street outreach training services. Urban Peace is solely in charge of the program. We reached out to the Los Angeles-based nonprofit to see if people enrolled in the intervention program are vetted before receiving a certificate. So far, no response. I think they need to do a little better vetting and a little better background on these individuals before they hand them a diploma that they graduate from the city of Fresno told Fox 26 News by email that it had no comment because it has no partnership with the street outreach program. While it claims there are no ties, these certificates include Mayor Dyer's signature. Rich Rodriguez, Fox 26 News. Thomas Rowland posted bail and was released from jail last night. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.